Corel Photo Paint 12. It's very similar to Corel Photo Paint 10, so some minor differences here and there. I'll point them out to you when we hit them. Otherwise, enjoy this. Now, I launched the program. I made the screen smaller so that it will stream better, and then uh, I loaded a picture, and this is a JPEG. So, I want to show you some of the cool features and things you can do with Photo Paint to be able to do what you need to with images. <coughs> first thing I want to show you is obviously you already know the zoom tool um, the whole image does not fit so I can make it fit just click on that and there you can see the whole image now and you can zoom in by the width or the height or whatever and zoom in in very fast way by using this button the other way you can do zoom is by clicking on a specific area for example this pickup is what I want so I click and drag this box and let go and it pulls in the whole pickup into this environment I can say wait I just want the back of the pickup just this area there we go now I just got this area and I can say but I want the tail light really and there we go only the tail light shows you can notice the zoom right now is at 677 percent if I want to go right back out I can go to fit and there we are back at fit you can also say, you know, let's crop the image. Click on the crop tool and let's just grab this area right here. And you can still resize it a little bit if you want to, up and down. I'm going to go maybe up a little bit and double click inside and it's only got that area. The rest has been thrown away. There we go. This is the new size of my image. So now I can go to fit and it will make this fit great so with a little bit of handling of knowing how to do deal with things like that it really helps to be able to manipulate your image now I'm going to do some practical things to it so that you can get to know the tools you now already know your hourglass and your crop tool I'm now going to show you how to do some fun things this grabs the, a specific color for example I want to take out this little dent obviously it's not a dent by accident but a dent by intention so I first want to zoom in on this area great I want to take this out and make it the same color as next to the side so I take my little dropper and I say what's a representative color here let's grab that and say that's it now under your paintbrush that's where you and you click on that little arrow here you found in version 10 you'll find your double brush situation that has been moved up to this red eye thing up here see that double brush so in version 10 that little double brush will be found down here they moved it here but you click on that situation now you ready to click here and say grab my color from there and then you're going to do a second click and say dump it there so basically from one port over to the next now first thing before I even go and mess with it and click and click to erase this little dent here I'm looking at the brush shape and say am I happy with this brush shape and this is a really important thing to look at two things to notice up here there's your brush shape and there's the size the nib size so first of all do I want a harsh edge on the brush or do I want a soft edge and scroll down here and look at all the interesting shapes you get maybe you want a really gentle phasing out of it for example that one and I'm going to use that one the nib size is 21 I just look at it and say well yeah that's big enough so I'm going to grab my color from right there and I'm going to dump it right there but it's a very gentle painting so I need to paint a lot to even get any effect now if I go and grab that harsh well let's grab one of these funny ones it's maybe a little big but okay same thing still it's grabbing from that plus and dumping it down here see there we go but it's very harsh and so it's doing the job but it's not a good paint job is it so in that case then I go and I click on this grab a bit of color and I go and grab one of those paintbrush and I go grab one of these softer spray-ons like that one maybe that's a little big but I'm still I'm click 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 a bit and you see it's kind of oh yeah it's 
doing the job, but look down there. So definitely the nip size is a little big. So maybe I can do a few undos, undos, undos to restore the mess that I'm making there. Or I can just notice hit control Z if I need to do a bunch of undos. So I'm going to do a couple of control Z's. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Much better. So I say good nip size, but let's go way smaller on this. Maybe 16. Okay, good. Now I can start playing just with the affected area and not mess up the whole pickup with my attempt. And I'll show you now what the final result will be like. Well, this is an idea of how things are. So there we go. I think I'm about satisfied. Maybe I can do one more click there for color and paint again. See if what that does give this car a better paint job than it even had and all that dirt we can remove as well since we're at the spray painting phase at this stage go out to fit and you notice my pickup has got a little bit of a paint job going there I can do the same thing with removing this I can remove the chain and that will be rather scary let's do that and then it will look as if this hyena looking thing <laughs> is walking with no chain on and I tell you people will run if the master says go you know this dog is not chained or this hyena is not chained and you're in trouble so let me zoom in again so click on the zoom tool we want to focus on this chain get this chain out of there great so we know kind of what we need to figure out there so I'm going to do the this thing again the clone tool Remember, it was the red eye was the default in 12, but you would find it down here in 10. So, got my clone tool. I don't like this brush. I want definitely a different brush. So, maybe I'll go with that one. And I want to wipe it exactly in line. So, let me just barely touch the line with that one. And then, barely touch the line with that one. And at this stage, go and erase it like this. There we go. The truth is being hidden. This chain is falling off. And this hyena is going to run loose in a minute. Let's get some more chain disappearance going on here. There we go. So takes a little because I've got a soft hue as you notice it's not a harsh replacement it's better to do a soft one and it takes a little time of back and forth back and forth to make it work but it pays off in the end and now maybe I need to now if I right click again if I right click on my mouse the plus symbol will not be taken, but where the other one is, that's where I will take it. So right click, and now that one becomes the new default. And, and I'm going to dump it right there. So I'm just really sitting here clicking on this one little spot to get this chain disappearing. And the thing is, you want to totally get it gone before you move on, just because if you move with a plus drop her over an area that's still got some noise on it, it will pick up that noise and transfer it to your target area and that's not the idea so here we go, I think this is working well now I might reverse the thing so I'm going to right click again there and I want to now move in on this chain here there we go and this chain is just about gone. Okay, great. Let's go to fit again and see. Indeed, this hyena is walking around with no chain. Isn't that exciting? So it gives you a good idea of using your dropper to pick up a color this way. You can use your erase tool the normal way. There's not much about erase. Um, and, you know, as I say, if you're going to replace something, the clone and dropper and then just the paintbrush is maybe a better way to go for immediate coverage. You can also copy <coughs> things and um, and paste them. For example, we can extend the pickup a little bit if we want to. Let me show you how that works. We click on the rectangle mask tool. Um, 
I'll use I'll use a rectangle. That'll be fine. And I'll go from no. Um, let's see, just about this much. There we go. Then I'm going to say copy. Then we'll grab just that little part. Copy. And then I'm going to paste it as a new object. Paste. And um, you know, I just realized I should have grabbed the whole back of the pickup. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paste it right back where it is with, let me see where that is, um, object, under object, yes, combine, combine with background, yes, it's back down now, and then I'm going to undo the mask, the mask is this red color, so here we go. Now <coughs> I'm going to grab the whole pickup and lengthen the bed like that and I'm going to go just with my hotkeys on my keyboard Control C to copy and Control V to paste and now let's extend this pick up a little bit there we go, it's growing, it's growing isn't that nice and then I'm going to go to object combine all objects with background you can't see that now because it runs off the screen but it says combine all objects with background and there is combined and then I take care of the mask and look at this extender pick up there so all kinds of things can be done with this I think this is a good little example to show you how to get going with the tool and then when you save you can save it just as is if it's in the format that you open it at or you can use export and in export you notice all these files here but then you can pick a file format let me move this up a bit so when the drop down happens you can see more of it there we go is you can run through this you can see all the formats that you can save it in normally as I say JPEG is what I do but you can go in several directions with this but I think this gives you a good feel I'll leave it in JPEG and debt collector that person is a debt collector and I'll call this person chain list and we'll save and this is what it's going to look like yeah free roaming wonderful and job saved and you now have a good idea of how to make a start